Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and today I'm coming to you from the High Line in New York City. This is the TLDR, your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Let's start with another great article from Daydream Labs. Seriously, these folks are on fire. In this post, linked in the description below, the team explores how creating 3D animation changes when you're in VR. TensorFlow version 0.9 is now available with improved mobile support including iOS, Raspberry Pi, and new compilation options. The post has links to the release notes, mobile guide, and samples. We recently open sourced our implementation of wide and deep learning as part of the TF Learn API so that you can easily train a model yourself. Check out the post for an explanation, tutorials, and our research paper. The 2016 Conference on Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition happened in Las Vegas last week, and don't worry if you missed it. The post has links to all the papers, talks, tutorials, and workshops we presented. You can now create intelligent context-aware apps with the Google Awareness APIs through Google Play services. The APIs allow your apps to request information about the user's current context or react to changes in the user's context, all with minimal, minimal impact on system resources. If you enjoy big data and open source, you're in luck. In collaboration with GitHub, we're releasing the full snapshot of content of more than 2.8 million open source GitHub repositories in Google BigQuery. You'll have access to analyze the source code of almost 2 billion files with a simple or complex SQL query, which is totally awesome. Check out the post to get started. The new Google Cast SDK is available for Android and iOS senders. This new SDK focuses on making development for Cast quicker, more reliable, and easier to maintain. For the intro video, docs, samples, tutorials, and more, check out the post. The latest version of the Google Maps Android API is out and it includes several requested features including the ability to order the display of markers on the map, the ability to set the transparency of your tile overlays, and a new circle click listener. The post has details and code. Ad mob campaigns are a powerful way to cross promote your apps and manage direct sold campaigns. With them, you can take advantage of innovative formats, advanced ad serving controls, and best in class conversion tracking. More info on the post linked below. Thanks for joining me at the High Line this week. Don't forget to subscribe, because subscribing is caring. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.